Okay, just to prove my point here and to make it a little more real to uh, new guys and that aren't familiar with this, I'm going to put a base cabinet in here. Then we're going to do a camera view of it. I'm in uh, Home Designer Pro 2014, which is pretty much work, I think, in all versions of Pro back to at least six. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to open the dialog box for this cabinet and then go to the uh, front tab. Was it front tab? Well, heck, where is it? <laughs> oh, okay, there it is. Right there, there's the inset command. When you click on this in Pro or in Chief Architect Premier on the front tab, inset, I'll click OK, and it insets the door and drawer front, bingo bango, right like, like that, so that the face of the cabinet and drawer front are even with the face of the cabinet. That's what inset means. And that's how easy it is to do in Pro. Just open that up, go to the front tab, and you can check or uncheck that. Uh, let's go full overlay. Okay, so now the drawer front and the cabinet front overlay the whole, entire front of the cabinet. So that's what those commands are in, uh, like I say, in Chief and in, in, uh, Pro. I'm not sure what Frameless will do. Anyway, there's some settings in the dialog. Now let's open, uh, I'm going to close this. And we'll open interiors. And I, <clears throat> I've already verified that uh, interiors is, this, in terms of capability, the same as essentials, landscape and deck, suite, and architectural. So, but you have interiors, so I'm going to show you an interiors. <clears throat> Click on new plan. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing, put a base cabin in there. I'll keep this simple. And I'm going to use the cam get a camera tool view of it. Zoom in on that. Okay. Now, when you open the interiors dialog box for this cabinet, you go to the uh, the front tab. You see, there's nothing. There's no check boxes there. So, what are you going to do? Commit hot or kitty? No. What I figured out, it's not much of a solution, but it is a solution. We'll click on the drawer front, and I'm going to change that with this drop down to an opening. I believe the dimensions the same. Click here and select opening. And then click OK. So basically we have uh, two openings, one for the drawer, one for the door. <coughs> I'm going to hit Shift F6 to split the screens. OK, I'm going to zoom in on this screen. I need the, uh, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to open the library browser and go to architectural cabinets, drawers, and fronts. Oops, I missed it. There it is. Cabinet drawers and fronts. Uh, I don't care about the door style. Uh, we'll do drawer fronts first. I don't care which because I'm just showing. So I picked one. I'm going to click outside of the cabinet. Now I get this error message here it says no suitable cabinet was selected to insert the library. Well, I can't because I can't insert it. You get the idea. So would you like to place the door into this plan as a fixture? And yes. And see, there it is. That's actually a drawer front. Now, the drawer front's about 30 inches above the floor. This stuff comes in at zero inches off the floor. We'll open the dialog box here. Floor to bottom is zero. We'll set it to 30. I'm just, I think the that's a little high. I can open the cabinet dialog box and click here and it'll tell me what the height is at six inches. So we want to set this to six inches tall and it's currently eight inches tall. Okay. And uh, we want it 23 and a half inches wide. You can quibble with me about that but I'm, I'm just d demonstrating 23.5 inches. Okay, there's my drawer front. Now in order to inset it Close the library browser. Go on over this screen and select it. And just press the control key and control key it into the cabinet. Okay, it came in a little high, but it's inset. You get the idea. Go pull that down. Okay. 
Okay, well there's an inset drawer front. Now we'll go back to the library browser and go to the doors. Rectangle, I'm just going to pick something. I don't care what it is. That's fine. And again, I'm, uh, I'm going to click here and get this message here again. Yeah, I just want it sticking out there in space. And then click on an object in plan view and then control key it in there about the same place as the drawer front. And you can, as you can see, it's a little low. I think uh, you don't have to guess on this stuff. You can open up the dialog and go to the general tab and it'll tell you how the height of the uh, back, uh, excuse me. Oh, it doesn't tell you the height of the uh, toe kick. It does in Pro and uh, in Chief Premier, it does, okay, I think it's four inches. So this object here needs to be four inches off the floor. Again, I'm just guessing. So put it floor to bottom is four. That looks better. We'll move it over and kind of into place. <clears throat> Get rid of the library browser now so I can see the other screen. Just fix the width. And voila, we got an inset door. Oops, it's a little tall. Anyway, sorry, but this is the way you're going to have to do it in uh, uh, anything but Pro or Chief. Those, that door is inset, and this drawer front is inset. I could probably do it a little more precisely, but you'd really have to want it to do it. Now, I'm going to close this camera here. I haven't tried this before, but I said in my uh, post to you that uh, you'd have to make, uh, put these in. I think if, once you have one made, we can probably mark, I'm pressing the, let me, a marquee select is where you press the shift key and left click, and then that square thing is a selection area called a marquee. And I'm going to make a copy and paste in place. Okay. Now I've got two inset. It's a little awkward. You know, the dialogue in Pro and in Chief is so much easier to use, but you can do it in interiors. It's just a little more heavy lifting. So this is just designed to go along with a post. If you want inset doors and, and uh, drawer fronts, you're just going to have to make them inset. There's no easy way to just be a, a dialog box to do it. Uh, thank you. I hope I hope <laughs> I hope this helps you. May, maybe once you understand exactly what you're going to have to do, you may want to kill me or kill yourself. But uh, things are as they are. If you want to, easier solutions, more choices. Upgrade to at least a Home Designer Pro and you won't have to put up with this kind of stuff as often. But there, you can get something done if you want it done badly enough. That's my point. Thank you.